Zer's on the Winding Cove in the EDZ. He's currently selling the Season of Dawn Seasonal Activity Armor Set, which is really cool for a lot of the classes. Specifically for the Hunter, I really like the helmet and the cloak a lot, but the boots and the chest piece are really good for a nightly look. I think the weakest part is just the arms themselves. Uh, for the ar actual armor itself, we're going to be looking at the Righteous Grips with basically a one to almost every category, which is really cool. Uh, if you put a plus 10 on the mobility, then it's a plus one on everything, which is pretty cool. For the chest piece, we have a natural 24 mobility, which is really nice, and a 16 strength, which is also really nice. Uh, I would just prefer a little bit higher of resilience or recovery, but this is not bad at all. For the helmet, we have a 23 in resilience, which is really nice. I would probably bump up the recovery to 16 and probably put powerful friends on so i can have a 22 and a 23 and a 16 which is really nice and then for the boots we have a 10 on mobility and 20 on recovery which is really nice if you put powerful friends on then at, at that point you have 30 mobility and if you want to bump it up to 40 you can or you can put it into resilience either way this is really cool and intellect and strength is at 12 which is also really nice so that's pretty cool. I really like the the stat distribu distribution on the boots themselves, but let me know what you guys think about the Hunter set. I really like it, but I do think the Titans and the Warlocks also got really good pieces. As for the Titans, I really like the chest piece and the helmet. The boots can be very usable. The mark is really, really good. And again, the arms, I think, are the only weak point of the whole set, which doesn't change for the Warlocks. I think the Warlocks also have a really weak arm. But other than that, Almost every piece of this armor set is usable fashion wise. As for the actual armor pieces, we're looking at Righteous Gauntlets for 14 mobility and 12 resilience and then everything else I'm just disappointed because 14 mobility is way too high. The resilience is nice at 20 uh, or at 12 because you can bump it up to 22 or you can bump up the recovery at to 17, but the mobility is way too high for me to waste my money on this or legendary shards, I should say. The Righteous Plate also is a little too high on mobility. I prefer like anything like five and under. Anything that's like nine and higher, I think is just a waste because that 10 or even that eight could have gone onto resilience or literally anything else. But to be fair, this is still a really good uh, chess piece. Uh, seven resilience is really nice, especially if you bump it up to 10. Recovery is also really nice because it'll turn into 18 if you masterwork this. 10 on discipline is nice because you'll just get an extra one on discipline. And intellect at 18 is really gross because once you masterwork this, you get a two on intellect. So it's good. It's just I wish the mobility was a little lower, but it's that that really is me just being Nick picky for the helmet way too high mobility. This is not being me being nitpicky. 15 mobility on the Titan is way too much for an armor piece, in my opinion, which sucks because if let's say that 13 went on to the resilience, then that would have been amazing. That, that would have been a really good chess piece. For the boots, this is terrible. Don't pick this up. 22 mobility, way too high, and then everything that actually matters is way too low. So boots are definitely doo-doo butter. Uh, again, I really like uh, almost all the pieces except the arms. I think the best pieces will be the mark and the helmet, although the helmet is very nitpicky for me. Like some in some cases it looks good, in some cases it looks really bald and weird. So if you could choose any piece, I probably would recommend the mark. But let me know what you guys would pick pick up as for the warlocks i think the arms the chest piece and maybe even the bond are the the weakest parts from this whole set i think the helmet and the boots are very usable but the chest piece is a little too bare for my taste the arms are also kind of boring in my opinion and the bond is also just kind of boring but it's also a really good bond for like a very simplistic look so the bond i could probably use as well as for the actual armor sets themselves way too high mobility a 24 is super gross on a warlock so this is definitely going to be ignored immediately the righteous robes on the other hand a 26 on resilience is really nice recovery is a tad low because recovery is what you want on a, on a warlock but at that point you would probably get something that's a natural like or something that's naturally higher for recovery on another armor set so that way you can balance it out for the helmet I actually like this helmet. I actually got this helmet because 18 resilience is nasty. 12 recovery is fine, but if you ma if you masterwork it on top of putting a 10 on recovery, then it's gonna be good because you'll be looking at 
a 24 recovery, 18 resilience, and a 22 discipline. So that's really good. Highly recommend the helmet. And then for the righteous boots, again, way too high mobility. It's the same case as the Titan. If the mobility went to the to resilience, it would have been a no-brainer for me. But yeah, as for the weapons themselves, we're looking at nine hunger with field prep and rampage, which I would recommend this one if you don't have a nine hunger. Nine hunger always comes into the meta PvP or PvE. It's always really good to have one. Oh, oh, that's weird. For Survivor's Epitap, we have Tunnel Vision and Moving Target, which is okay. I There's definitely way better ones that you can get right now, especially since you can still farm for this one, kind of. Uh, for Velpacula, Killing Wind, and Adagio, I don't know if I would recommend this one, although it has impact. Okay, it's weird. <laughs> okay, weird. I don't know if I would recommend this one just because uh, Adag I'm not the biggest fan of the Adagio, personally. We have Widow's Bite with Feeding Frenzy and Eye of the Storm, which I'm going to ignore. Eichelos SR, uh, I'm not going to say all that. Feeding Frenzy and Disruption Break, which I'm going to ignore as well. Honor's Edge with Balance, Guard, Tireless Blade, and Surrounded, which again, I'm going to ignore. And Talons of the Eagle with fall, Full Auto Trigger System and Moving Target. Definitely not what I would have picked, but if you don't have a Talons of Eagle, I mean, I guess. I'm not going to pick it up because I... I've had really good rolls and I just erased them because, you know, duh, it's been, I don't know. Uh, for the exotics, we're looking at Hawk Moon with Hip Fire Grip. I'm going to ignore that. Dead Man's Tail with Vorpal, which I would recommend this one heavily. Vorpal is really good, especially in PvE. It's super, super good. There's only like another perk that I would recommend over the Vor Vorpal weapon, which would be four times the charm. Uh, and for the other ones, Tractor Cannon, which is really good. If you don't have Tractor Cannon, I would recommend it. It's really fun in PvP. And in PvE, it's a really good uh, weapon to debuff shit. For Lucky Pants, we have a 28 on mobility, which is really nice. But then pretty terrible resilience and recovery. So I'm probably going to ignore this because I think I have a better role. For Peacekeepers, you have a 24 in recovery, which is really nice. I would most likely just put all my chips into resilience at this, at this point because recovery at 24 is really nice. And then for Aeon Soul, we have, ooh, not good. That's what we have. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, what you guys are going to pick up and let me know in the comments below. I'm not going to pick the exotic up for my warlock. I'm going to pick it up for my hunter. So let's see what we're actually going to be picking up with these exotic engram. Hopefully it's something good. Hopefully it's Omnioculus, which of course it's not because this game hates me. Um, it's funny too because I picked the, the exotic up before and it gave me a Mechaneer's Trick Sleeve because of course it would. Resilience at 19 is pretty... That's pretty foul, dog. That's... Mm, I might hold on to this one. This one, I, I may hold on to that one too. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. You guys... Uh, did not see that armor set that I just have because that's technically for a video. But yeah, let me know what you guys think. What are you guys going to be picking up? Let me know in the comments below. Again, I highly recommend some of the pieces that I recommended for the Hunter, Titan, and Warlock because a lot of them are really, really good. Uh, specifically for certain uh, themes like a night look for sure. So yeah, be safe and I'll see you guys later.